Before we jump into this week's video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com where you can subscribe and get 10% off all of our playbooks and drill packs instantly. You can click up here under playbooks and find the full playbook. That is the all-in-one solution, everything you need to get prepared. Or you can select an age-based playbook as well. You can come down here, put your information in, and I'll get that to you instantly. You can also choose our drill pack. Brand new drill pack has all the drills that you need to build a shutdown defense. You'll get 15 of my best drills right here. All you have to do is add it to the cart, check out, and there you go. I also added our popular videos, our top videos that can get you prepared for the season are all right here. But make sure you go and subscribe and I'll get that information to you right away. Now, let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today I'm gonna help you with that rush that keeps shaking your quarterbacks. You know, a lot of times we have those fast rushers that just come in. Sometimes it's one side, sometimes it's both sides. Sometimes they switch it up and you don't know where they're coming from. And so your quarterback gets flustered, loses their confidence. And this week, Coach Leo said, hey, I've got this quarterback who's incredible. He's a, he's a Brett Favre. He, he's not mobile like, like Russell Wilson, but he, he's got something, he just gets flustered every time he gets rushed. So what can we do to build an offense or at least build up our quarterbacks to have the confidence to be able to do it? Now, before we get started, let's talk about some kind of offense or some plays that you might wanna go after when you have a rush that keeps on shaking your quarterback. You know, for me, I like to have a short and a long game in that. And what I like to do is progression. So if you get one of my playbooks, you'll see they look like this. And then you'll see a lot of times they have progressions where it's in the same, right? You're in the same formation, but then you're gonna do like five, six, seven, eight, right? But here's what I, I like. And I did a video about a short, game attack right your short passing attack well if I have a rusher continuing to come after me first of all we're gonna teach our quarterbacks to step up in the pocket make one move and be able to shake them but I want to be able to have some out patterns like this right I see a nice quick out pattern I see this type of pattern where I can quickly dump it off you'll see a Tom Brady who's who's not not even close to a Kyler Murray, Murray or a, a Lamar Jackson or, or Russell Wilson. Not mobile at all, but what he'll do is he'll step up and he'll dump it off. Or he'll have a nice crossing pattern where Edelman or one of those others, even you know Gronk will come right across and he'll have some of those quick things that he can just dump off. So if you have a defense that continuously rushes, they're coming from all sides, you wanna have not only the long ball, but you also wanna have some of these short passing, right? You wanna have some of these short little hand, right? You got little things like this. Now, at the same time, you wanna be able to do some misdirection. So I might do a lot of fake handoffs and then throw, right? I've got this fake and throw type of situation, but I need to switch it up so that my rusher is constantly guessing think about this if i'm rushing you and i just do a quick little is he handing it off right and i just second guess myself for just a second that gives my quarterback just enough time to be able to move so progressions are important that means you're doing one after another sometimes you hand it off Sometimes you do a short dump pass. Sometimes you go over the top. 
But if you don't keep them guessing, then they know, okay, he's not gonna hand it off. He just does fakes all the time. Then I'm just gonna run straight for you and I'm gonna get you. But with that in mind, okay, a couple other things uh, let me show you. Yeah, I really like number 14 here. Okay, number 14 is where I can dump it off to a nice little, right? These are all curl patterns where they're going, oh, I'm gonna go deep, but then they come back, boom, and I can quickly dump it off to whichever receiver and then teach them to get some yards after the catch. So little things like that, when you get my playbooks, you'll see that they're in order of progressions so you can keep those rushers on their heels so that they quickly second guess, and that's all you're looking for. You're looking for one second of second guessing. Now, let me show you this awesome drill I have out here. So let me show you how I've, I've got this set up. First of all, I love this guy right here. This has helped my son and myself become super accurate. But if you don't have that, you can also have this be some wide receivers out here. You can have, you know, this be some coaches just kind of standing out here. You can have them at different like uh, I can have 10 yards away, then I can have somebody five yards away, right? So this is a nice little, if you're practicing by yourself, that's a, a great tool. So I'll put that link in the description so you can have it. But here's what I have set up, right? I have a couple footballs, but then I just have a diamond shape here for my quarterback. We're gonna hike it from here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab whether I'm in shotgun or anything else, this is where I'm gonna hike the ball. And then I'm gonna actually have this little area, all these cones are gonna be areas that I'm gonna run and start practicing avoiding the rush. So I'm gonna run over to one cone and then the other and then the other. And you want them to start getting comfortable making one move and then throw. They're gonna come at you. You gotta be able to make that one quick move and then get your eyes down the field and throw it, okay? So let me show you how it works. Now, I don't have my mic today, but I think you can still hear me. Let me show you what's going on. So I grab a football. I'm the quarterback. I always like the cadence. Ready, go. Ready, go. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is where, okay, they're usually going to come from one side or the other. They're coming at an angle right at me. Okay? And so if you have other if you have other players, then I'd recommend you lining them up exactly where they're supposed to be, maybe seven yards off the, the line of scrimmage, whatever it might be in your league, and practice having them run at that quarterback as fast as they possibly can. Here's where we're going. Ready, go. Boom. I go to my first cone. Make a move. Boom. I go to my second cone. Make a move. Go to my third. Right? And now what I'm gonna work on is footwork and getting comfortable, still being able to plant my feet when I'm on the move, okay, I'm not trying to be completely mobile, but I do want to be able to move in the pocket. This is all in the pocket. Ready to go. Step up. Throw it. Okay. Ready to go. So, what I'm doing is I'm playing all around these cones in different areas. And what I'm doing is I'm building up confidence in my quarterback so that they can make one move, right? And then still have the accuracy to throw it. So I do want them to have a target, a wide receiver, somebody running a route, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect but I do want them to be able to start practicing 
right? Being in the situation where they're having that come after them. And if you have a team that's blitzing all the time, a defense that's constantly coming after you, don't try to throw it down the field every single time. You need to have some of those short, short routes, those, right? So I'll put in the description some of the other videos that are related to this. One is how to make a mobile quarterback. If you really wanna turn them into that mobile quarterback, I've got a whole video on that. Number two is the short attack. Look, if I'm a, a wide receiver, I run out and I'm covered. I'm not just gonna like run around like this. I have a nice little strategy to help you. When you're covered here, you gotta bust to the sideline. Give your quarterback something to throw to. What am I just gonna stand right here? No, and a lot of times what they do is they just bolt down the field. That's not it. So what I do is I bust to the sideline or I make a quick move and then go to the sideline, boom. It creates an opening for your quarterback. So it's not just about the quarterback, it's about the entire offense understanding what's happening. You can't block them, you can't get in their way, you can't do any of that. You're not gonna create a Russell Wilson overnight, but you can use your team as a support system. Think of Tom Brady who just steps up in the pocket doesn't get flustered, knows how to plant their feet, right? Make one or two moves and go. So that one will really, really help your quarterback build their confidence and create a nice little offense against that defense that's coming after you all the time. Hey, and look, we've talked about it. These are my playbooks, right? I have playbooks just like this. You gotta ask yourself, am I looking for an all-in-one playbook? for all ages with templates and practice schedules, or do I want an age-based playbook? I'm coaching second graders. I just want 24 plays and eight practice schedules and that's it, nothing else. Cool, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, subscribe so you get 10% off and you will be taken care of. That's it, look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and comment, subscribe, of course, so you never miss a video, and then like and share it. We know that. Look, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.